This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist, here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. Sell in May and go away is an old Wall Street adage referring to the historically weaker performance of the market from May to October compared with the other half of the year. This week on the Street of Dreams, if you sold last month, the 1st of June says you sold too soon, as the Dow Jones Industrial Average surged Friday for its best day since January as traders cheered a strong jobs report and the passage of a debt ceiling bill that averts a U.S. default. The Dow jumped 700 points, or 2%. The S&P climbed 1.5%, and the NASDAQ composite advanced 1%, its sixth straight week higher, a streak length not seen for the tech-heavy index since 2020. Now, the best performer was the Russell 2000 index of small company stocks, jumping a whopping 3.5% on Friday, its best one-day rally since November. Non-farm payrolls grew much more than expected in May, rising 339,000, far exceeding estimates of a relatively modest 190,000 increase. It marked the 29th straight month of positive job growth. Now, recently, strong employment data has been pressuring stocks on the notion it would keep the Federal Reserve raising interest rates. But Friday's data also showed average hourly earnings rose less than economists expected year over year while the unemployment rate was higher than anticipated. Investors were clearly focusing mainly on the wage data, leading many to believe that the Fed will pause its interest rate hiking campaign at the policy meeting scheduled for later this month. Giving credence to the belief, with recent signs of moderating inflation, the Fed is bringing the economy in for a soft landing and will avert a recession. Easing concerns around the U.S. debt ceiling also helped sentiment. The Senate passed the bill to raise the debt ceiling late Thursday night, sending the bill to President Joe Biden's desk. Really, did anyone actually believe the U.S. government was going to default on its bills? So here we are. There are plenty of jobs. Inflation is moderating. The bank crisis is abating. The recession is still a no-show. Earnings were better than expected during first quarter. And the Fed likely will pause its rate hiking for at least one meeting. Artificial intelligence, AI, will boost productivity, but only if it doesn't kill us first. Summer is coming, and with the S&P 500 now up 20% since October, we're now officially in a new bull market. Something for everybody to love, of course, except the perma bears and the pessimists who hate this market, especially those who sold in May and went away. I guess they forgot that compounding interest is the greatest force in the universe. And as Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's investment partner, so famously said, the first rule of compounding is to never interrupt it unnecessarily. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have 70 years of combined industry experience in building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844 844- 752-6692, or you can simply just call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.